So in the previous video, you have watched Miss Ellie talk to you about what are base SI units. And you have me now, Miss Lee. Okay, if you don't know how to spell my name, it's here. Okay, so today I'll talk to you about derived units. And you already know that, hey, you know, in base SI units, you have these seven physical quantities. And you might be thinking to yourself, teacher, teacher, fake one. There are other physical quantities with other SI units that I use that is not here. How ah, how ah? For example, energy, power, density, area, momentum, time, weight, mass. Like which one is base and which one is derived? Okay, so what you need to understand about base SI units is that this is a limited list. Okay, so anything that is not on this seven is not a base SI unit. Unless the scientist decides otherwise, and we will then be informed as school teachers, right? But right now, anything that's not in this seven are not base SI units. Okay, so what do we call them then? We call them derived units. Okay, so derived units is a combination and all derived units is combination of the base SI. So it will be a combination of the base SI units by multiplication or division. It can be N or E division. Okay, so when it comes to derived units, right? So I'll give you a few examples. Now, example one, uh, maybe you'll be thinking about teacher volume. Symbol is V. What is the unit? The unit will be, so whenever you want to think about units, right? If let's say you, you can't really recall it. So I have a few steps that you can roughly want to go through. Number one, recall an equation. Any equation that you may or may not encounter. For example, volume can be calculated using, let's say, x power 3. For example, you have a cube and then you multiply the size of the cube. But if I want to think about unit, now we are going to insert unit. So hence, the unit or the derived unit, okay, maybe I should write this as derived. The derived unit of V will be meter cube. Okay, let's do another example. Let's say, for example, we talk about force and you symbol F. And you might be thinking, teacher, the SI unit for force is Newton, leh. correct? SI unit, not base SI, but SI unit is Newton. Nah, that, that dude, that British dude during lockdown who invented calculus one, ah, that Newton, ah. All right, so SI unit is Newton, but base SI unit, so when you see the word base, oh, it has to be only the seven. Anything that is not in the seven is not base SI unit. So then you might be thinking to yourself, okay, how do we make Newton to consist of base SI unit? We go through the three step again. Step one, equation. What is the most, most popular equation for force? Nah, teacher, FMA or F equal MA. Uh, I use so many times now. Okay, good. And then you're thinking to yourself, okay, so if F is equal to MA, then I can insert unit. So I'm going to change color and do the insertion now. Okay, so the unit for Newton is equivalent to unit for mass is kg. Unit for acceleration is meter per second square. So this will be equivalent to kg ms negative 2. Okay, you might be thinking, miss, does the order matter? The order doesn't really matter, but there's a certain convention where if there's prefix, we put in front. Okay, so I'll write that down for you. Like kg, kilo is a prefix. So normally, prefix in front. So here in itself, there are a few problems. Number one, you may not know or you may not be able to recall an equation. For example, f equal to ma is pretty straightforward. But maybe, let's say you do pass your question and you see an equation that you don't know. So in those cases, there are two possibilities. Number one, maybe your syllabus haven't covered yet. Number two, maybe the question will give you information. All right, so we will hop on there and do an example. But once again, just to differentiate the ideas, base SI unit, must consist of the seven 
quantities only. Anything that is not in the 7 is not a base SI unit. So the base SI unit for force is equal to kg ms negative 2. But the SI unit can be anything. In this case, it will be Newton. All right. So certain physical quantities have SI unit, have base SI unit. Certain physical quantities like volume, it only has base SI unit because there's no point giving volume another unit. All right. So now we can look at a past year question. Okay, so here is an example. This is from uh, Fat March 17, paper 1, 2. Whoops, we went jump. Okay, so it says here, which expression has the same SI base unit as pressure? So whether you have done IG or other syllabus, you probably have already been introduced that pressure, symbol P, is equal to F over A. If you are thinking, oh, yeah, I don't remember a lot of the physics, I've left it behind in high school, well, now is the time to keep up. I mean, it's not saying that you've fallen behind, but you just have to chase a grind a bit more. Okay, So pressure is force per unit area. Google is your best friend as well. So if we want to look at the SI base unit of pressure, then I see SI base unit of pressure means I need to change this to SI base unit and compare with all the options A, B, C, D. So if you remember just now in the example, I say F is equal to M, A. So now I will have M times acceleration over area. So hopefully you know lowercase a is for acceleration, uppercase a is for area. So now I can convert to units, base units. This will be kg ms negative 2 over m square, area 1. Okay, so right now I can do some simplifi simplifying a bit. So meter per meter square, I mean, I can take kg, then I multiply by, actually, this divide, right? So this s negative 2, this one here, can move down, right? So this will be s square, and then this is m over m negative, m square. So you get m negative 1 m. So some basic prefix is needed. Lah. Okay, so then I look at this. Um, it says here that the base units for pressure is kg meter second square. Okay, so I need to check the numerator. Of course, you have mass on top. Okay, and then you have meter, which corresponds to length, and then time square. Not time square KL, just second square. Okay, so they will share the same SI base unit. You don't have to wonder what this is. You see the correct term, you match it. So in this case, the answer would be C. Let's look at another example. Which pair of units are not the same when expressed in SI base unit? I, uh, now we need to express everything, uh, Miss Ayala. We need to compare. So the only way we can compare SI base units is to break all the non-SI base unit down to SI base unit. Okay? Because then only we can compare uh, basic to basic. Okay? So this one is okay. I don't need to convert anything. But here... This Newton kg negative 1, I'm just going to write here. This one, kg negative 1. And I think to myself, Newton is force and we've been here before, you know, the base SI unit for Newton. So I skip a bit of step. Huh? This will be kg ms negative 2. Why? Because when I jump from here to here, I'm using F is equal to ma. So after a while, you will be able to skip certain steps. This is objective, so showing the steps doesn't matter. Okay, so then I can put kg ms negative 2 here, and I have kg negative 1 here, and they will just cancel off each other, and then I get ms negative 2, ms negative 2, A is good. All right, let's check the second one. So the second one, you have Newton second. Ayo, okay lah. We already know the best SI, base SI for Newton. Kg ms negative 2. And then we times S. Okay, the other one, I'm going to put blue. Okay. So what do I get? Uh? I get Kg ms negative 1. So you can see Kg ms negative 1, Kg ms negative 1. Okay. This Newton is for this one. So we're good. This is solid. 
Okay, prayer Pascal. So when you see Pascal, hopefully you remember that Pascal is the unit for pressure. I cheat a bit lah. I got the base SI unit for pressure already. It's here. Okay, or you can derive using the steps I have given just now. So the base SI unit for pressure is kg meter second negative or two. Kg meter negative one second negative two. But in this case, right, you could also be a bit aware that this side here is Newton. Oh, 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 hey, we don't need to actually use base all the way for both. In this case, you know that pressure is equal to F over A. And the SI unit, not base SI, but SI unit is Newton over meter square. Okay, so this Newton is for force. You can put Newton here. And then your meter negative 2 is for area, which is the same as Pascal. Okay, so this means uh, these are both SI units, but they are both not base. You want the base SI unit, it will be this one. Okay, teacher, then by elimination is D, ayala. But if you want to just confirm, then D actually needs a little bit more work. Because generally when you do past year paper, right, we assume that you have already finished the syllabus and you are ready and you know all the physical quantities that you need to know in your AS. And you may not, it may not be the case, because you know, look, I'm just a newbie A-level kid and I'm just trying to grind my way to some form of mastery. I got you. So whenever you see something that you don't know, you can either choose to skip or you can confirm your lecturer. All right. But there's certain things that I already know. So let me try and see if you also know this. For example, this V is actually volt. You know, volt from voltage. Okay. So the unit for volt is actually defined as work done per unit charge. So this one... It's a bit of work. La. By elimination, I know the answer is D. But here, I need to do a lot of work. So this is work done per unit charge. Okay. Then I need to times meter negative 2. But good news. You see the Newton and Coulomb here? So I'm going to steal this as well. So I will work on both sides at the same time to prove that they are not the same. That's all I want to do. Or if I'm running out of time, I will just circle the correct answer already is D. Call it a D. D is wrong. All right. But let's say I want to, I want I just want to show. So in this case, right, when you think about work done, you should also consider something like force times distance. Okay. So use equations that you already know. Voltage is work done per unit charge. And then work done is force times distance. Okay. So this one is this one. And then divide by charge times meter negative 2 or distance square. Okay, now my bad. I should keep this one as distance negative 2. You see, immediately I got some problems already. You want to know what the problem is? 1 over distance square. On this Newton per Coulomb or Newton per Coulomb, here, right? I need to think about what is Newton. Newton here is force. Okay, this Newton is force. Force over charge. And then I look at this side. I have force over charge here. This second and this second plus, this distance, force times distance. So if you are not clear, force times displacement is work done. W equal to Fs. Hopefully you're familiar with this basic equation. So displacement and distance can only cancel out one time. So this unit will end up being Newton per Coulomb times meter. Whereas this one is Newton per Coulomb. So the answer is D. Lo. Okay. So certain one you need to grind a bit or you can use the process of elimination. How quickly you do these past year questions depends on your practice. All right. So go practice the past year question. And I'll see you in the next video where we talk about why should we care if the best base SI unit is the same? Why should I care? Pressure put Pascal. La. Other things are put other things off. Why should I care? All right. That'll be in the next video. And I'll see you in that one.